was going to happen. In a hearing at the Senate Defense Committee, Governor Pinyol of uh, North or South Cotabato, I just don't remember which province that is, but Governor Manny Pinyol gave a testimony in the Senate Committee hearing, Defense Committee hearing, and said that he had warned the government, the administration, that the rivalry between the Ampatuans and the Mahuda Datus was gaining ground and that with the elections coming, it was going to be of primary concern. This was four months before the Maguindanao massacre happened. And he said that he already informed the government peace panel and the security agency officials concerned. What he wanted to happen was that for government to step in and make sure that the, both groups, which maintain their own armed components, both groups will not heighten or escalate the tension which could lead to an exchange or a shooting exchange. He knew, already knew that with elections coming, that will happen. Because that is the practical politics on the ground. Rivalries exist, and those rivalries tend to become violent, especially coming with elections coming. So at the level that they have armed themselves, it's going, it was going to be an explosive matter. That was the point of Governor Pinyol. So these private armies exist because it exists as political favors. Hindi pinababayaan ng gobyerno, lalong-lalo na kung kasama sa politika, kung kapartido. Because what we need to dismantle private armies, of course, the law is there. What we really need first and foremost is political will on the part of the concerned officials. It's not really a matter of the AFP and the PNP not being fully equipped. It's not a matter of there is no law that we can use. Somehow there are laws that we can use. Illegal possession of firearms is one. Or we can withdraw some of these issuances. It is clearly a matter of political will. But the reality on the ground is it exists as political favors. But its existence tends to instill fear among the public, especially in those areas where the, the people are caught in between rivalries. Sila yung mga naiipit yung ordinaryong mamamayan. Sa labanan ng mga politiko, ang naiipit yung tao. So if we are going to address that problem, one is that we would have to review existing policies and regulations, something that the legislature can do in its oversight function. Second is to pass necessary legislation to clearly define what private armies are and to put into place policies that would address the constitutional provision which says that they must be dismantled. Of course, strengthening the AFP and the military is also a necessity, but not to counteract or not to directly confront private armies, but to adequately address insurgency and other peace and order problems so that there will be no necessity for us to, NIL to activate civilian volunteer organizations. Palakasin natin yung kapulisan at ang ating military para yung problema ay hindi kailangan i-activate ang ating mga CEOs. And finally, of course, the political will. A policy statement or a political commitment by leaders to say that they will dismantle private armies. No other excuses to simply say that they will not tolerate whether they be political rivals, whether they be political allies. Once and for all, say enough is enough. That is what we need. Anyway, I've already reached the limit of uh, almost 20 minutes, but I would rather hear questions from the students later on. I, so I do hope that you will open up and throw us 
uh, those questions uh, which we will readily and uh, gladly clarify for your benefit. Thank you very much and good afternoon to all.